Welcome on down to another main tutorial video, fellow Dazzlers and new players alike. What is going on everybody? Hey, Russell Joseph here bringing you a main control tutorial video. I don't know why this took so long for me to make. I'm finally doing it though. Let's get that out of the way and knock this out. But real quick, I want to say if you are new to the channel, if you are a new player, Feel free to become a Dazzler, join my ringling of Dazzlers, my community of Dazzlers, that's what I call my subscribers. It's as simple as hitting the subscribe button, and if you want to keep up to date on whatever nonsense we're doing because we just randomly cook things out, make sure you ring that notification bell, become part of the notification squad, I like to call them ringling Dazzlers, but whatever. And then we also have ways of supporting the channel if you like what you see, we got Patreon, we got PayPal me, we got TubeBuddy, but we'll go over all of that after the video, you're here to figure out how to do controls. So, step one, plug your controller in before you start up MAME. Um, MAME is kind of like a Nintendo 64 in that if you don't have your controller plugged in, it won't see it and you're going to have to close MAME and open it back up again. Um, another thing to note is it seems to work with pretty much anything. Like uh, my Mayflash arcade fight stick that you hear me use in a lot of my videos, this sucker has X input and direct input mode, works perfectly fine. I mean, if I switch the mode, I have to turn me, I have to close me and open it. Now when I switch this uh, switch there, it kind of just, uh, uh, basically it unplugs it from my computer and then plugs it back in, essentially, to simplify it. So, um, yeah, I switched it and <laughs> I had to close it open me back up. Whoops. So, let's go ahead and jump right into it. For, if you're just doing a joystick and buttons game, so that's basically just like your typical arcade game. So nothing weird like Akari Warriors and it's twisting joystick or Tempest or trackball or anything like that or light guns. Those are all going to be in separate videos, I'll go over that. And if there's a game that you're struggling with the controls for, uh, drop a comment down below. Um, I will say I've experimented with a decent amount of games. I'm still trying to figure out stuff like Afterburner and uh, Jurassic Park and a few other ones. I don't really do driving games on me, but I'll take a look at that if you guys want me to. Because you are my subscribers, you are my dazzlers, and I want to help you guys have a fun time at the arcade in your home. That may or may not be legal. But anyways, let's, let's go ahead and get started. So it's very simple to do that. Let's go ahead and just pick a game, any game. I am going to do Altered Beast because that's what I first settled on. So let's go ahead and wait for that to boot up. Okay, so once you get your game booted up, it's very simple. Uh, what I like to do is hit the pause button because for some reason, this version of the game tends to get a little bit laggy when I try to do that. So let's go ahead and just throw it in the pause. Default key is going to be P on your keyboard, by the way. So, what you're going to do is use the default key of tab to pull up your menu. Navigating the UI is very simple. If you haven't messed with any of the input general controls, it's going to be up and down, enter to go in, escape to go out. You can also use the tab button to blink the menu in and out. This can be useful if you're trying to test controls. So, you can go input this machine, dork around with stuff, tab out, see how it works, tab back in. Um, Changing controls is as simple as just highlighting the control you want to change, pressing the enter key, pushing the key that you want for each control, and there you go. Simple as that. Look at that. Boom. And boom. And as quick as that, I have just configured the controls for player one in Altered Beast. Quite simple and easy to do. Uh, there's a, a few quirks you gotta watch out for though. Let's say you're trying to set your player one up and you push the wrong key but then you push the right key. You're gonna end up with keyboard Y and keyboard W which means you have to push both keyboard Y and keyboard W in order to go up. Like note down there it says press. So it's letting you know that it is reading the controls. Note only works when both at the same time. You can also set up to where, um, you can also set up macros to an extent in the sense that you can have it to where one button can push more than one, more than one thing. So let's say for whatever reason, or like say, you know, you get, let's say you get a beat em up like Final Fight, where like, you know, you push your jump and your attack button and your guy does like the spin kick move that gets everybody out of the way. So what you can do is, um, if you wait too long, you'll see the control gets replaced. So what I like to do is just hit delete. Delete will remove whatever is currently set up. Then we'll just hit A. Then we'll hit Q. Then for button two, same thing. Let's just hit delete. Not messed up there, oops. <laughs> Some of you are probably like, Razzle, it's the wrong button. Uh, then we'll go K here. 
And we'll go you here. There we go. Now let's go ahead and test that out. Let's go ahead and pause. Rise from your grave. And yeah, there you go. And then we have the. It seems like it doesn't register jump and kick at the same time, so there's me trying to push that there. Oh, because. I'm a dork. Button 2 is. And you notice that's a thing about main. Actually, it's a good time to put that up. Um, most games, it's not going to tell you what your buttons do. So that's why it's good to not put escape, escape. It's good to use the tab key because then you can kind of like figure out what your button 1, 2, 3 is. If any of you have used older main versions and you've played like fighting games, especially Mortal Kombat, you got to figure out that, oh, button 2 is actually the blue button. Shoot! It's annoying. Fortunately, with this version of the main, they don't do that. But, um, yeah, you're gonna have to wanna leave that menu open so you can tool around and figure out your controls. If you got something like a joystick, it's the same deal. It's as simple as one, two, three, whoops, three, three. You can do that too. You can, you can do this. You can push the same button and it'll just keep. <laughs> <laughs> joy right, joy right, joy right, joy right. It means funny like that. And, uh, oops. Let's go ahead and just get rid of that. There you go. Now we have switched it over to using our handy dandy Mayflash joystick. And if you want to use a controller, like, uh, I got my Xbox One controller plugged in. That's also fairly easy to do as well. You can even set up the stick because the stick on this, on, on these joystick and button games tends to be a digital stick, meaning it's not analog, meaning it's not like a little, you know, you know, like an Xbox One controller with its, with its stick, it's gonna be analog. This one is digital, so there's no sensitivity or anything with the stick. It's every time you move it a direction, it clicks a button rather than moves like a sensor or something like that. So if you wanna do that, fortunately, it's as simple as just moving the stick and what... Okay, so I've got a couple things here. I thought I could use my uh, stick, but I may have... Maybe there's like a setting or something I, I changed that is causing it to malfunction or whatever. But usually you can use... Usually you can set up a joystick. I've got like two or three like or four different things plugged in my computer, so it could be possible. Something's conflicting because MAME isn't... MAME doesn't like to be easy. If you've watched my ROMs, any of our ROM videos on the channel, you know that. <laughs> It's a pain in the neck. <laughs> oh boy. But yeah, that's uh, that's basically it. That's all you need to know with the setup controls. Now, if you're looking to do something like, um, if you're looking to do something like uh, Raspberry Pi or something like that, unfortunately, I don't have much expertise when it comes to using that in Pi. Um, although I can imagine if you are able to plug your joystick into your Pi, uh, joystick, your keyboard into your Pi device, then same default controls, assuming you've changed nothing with that. But when it comes to stuff like Hyperstone and whatnot, I don't know much about those, so I don't know the nuts and bolts intricacies, especially when it comes to stuff like uh, light guns, dual sticks, Akari Warriors, weird twisty controller. I'll be going over those kind of stuff too. Uh, I want to say also again, um, I'm not sure if I set up, I'm going to say it again anyways. If there is a game or a setup that you're wondering about, um, feel free to let me know in the comments down below and I'll let you know what I do myself personally or I'll try to look into it and see what I can do to help you guys out with that because yeah, it's fun to show you guys gameplay videos but I also want to show you guys how to get this started on your own so you can have just as much fun as I do revisiting the arcades but that's, that's about it, relatively painless. It's a simple process to do that. And again, a uh, MAME seems to work with pretty much any controller that I used. I mean, there was that weird thing where the stick wasn't working, but I could still use the D-pad just as fine. It, it's just like setting up the controls for the stick. But that is about it for setting up joystick controls for MAME. There's really no weird thing to do with that. Just again, keep that in mind. If you're using older versions or whatever because you main versions are weird, you know, it may be that, you know, you go to Mortal Kombat and it's button 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 instead of high punch block and all that stuff. Just remember, use tab to blink the menu out so you can experiment, and then tab to blink the menu back in so you can make the necessary changes that you need to do. Um, a fun thing too is if you're playing on a, a computer 
Like, let's say you're playing on a laptop and you can't hold more than three buttons down. Remember that trick I taught you. You can put multiple button pushes for one button. Like, when I used to play on a laptop, I play Mortal Kombat, it wouldn't let me do the slide for the ninjas because there's all those buttons I had to push. So I just put in, oh, we'll just push Q to do the slide. Really neat, easy stuff. So that is about it. Again, make sure you subscribe to the channel and join my community of Dazzlers. We are a gaggle of fun guys. Um... Ring the bell if you want notifications on any new stuff that we have coming out. Again, we're going to be putting out tutorials on other ways of doing controls in MAME. Um, also, if you want to support the channel, we have Patreon, which is more of a long-term thing. We are still thinking of rewards other than thank you for supporting our channel credits. I know it's good to do that because it's really great to make you guys you know, kind of reward you that way for helping us out. But I mean, like, other cool stuff, too, a little bit more further than that. So we can show thanks for people who donate more than just, you know, a couple bucks or so. Um, and then we also have PayPal Me, which is a great way, if you have a PayPal account, to just do a single-time donation. And this video is most likely brought to you by our affiliate link down below, which is TubeBuddy. And what I mean by that is TubeBuddy's useful tools like the Keyword Explorer help us find keywords for videos so we can figure out what uh, keywords YouTube picks up for, say, name controls, so you guys can find the video because we can make the coolest videos ever, but if you guys can't find it, then it's basically wasting our time. There's also cool things you can get with the TubeBuddy membership as well such as uh, music to use in your videos and if you are under a thousand subscribers and you agree to pay annually you get as much as 50 percent off a yearly subscription that's cool and you don't need to punch in any special coupon code or anything like that this isn't a sponsorship it's just a tool we use that we think is cool so enough of my yammering my name is russell joestar thank you guys for watching and i will see you all in the next control scheme take care everybody